There are so many different recipes for beef ragu and this one the key is really good quality beef mince lots of lovely vegetables fresh herbs and the very best tomatoes and you cook it low and slow that's the secret into it so we'll talk about uh, the beef mince that i'm using okay so first of all it's board beer quality assured it's irish beef mince it's round steak 10 percent fat you do need a little bit of fat for flavor so all i've done because this is really the hardest part of it i'm going to show you how to chop some of the vegetables but i've browned off the actual mince just with some rapeseed oil so I actually have two packets, but I've done it separately. You don't want to put it all in. So I have one already browned off, like that. And then I'm going to put this in here. So I am. This takes about maybe eight to ten minutes. Good hot. Keep the pan really, really, and um, the skillet pan I'm using really, really hot. I think that's the key into it. And if it stews a little bit, don't worry, it'll evaporate. Don't worry. Actually, a really good tip for you: using your spatula. So if you just come over here, just what I you normally do is kind of break it down like this. So you're kind of breaking down the texture of the mince. You're kind of chopping it up, okay? Because you're going to cook this really nice and slow for um, up to maybe two and a half hours. So I'm just going to empty this out here. We're going to put some more oil in here and then we're going to start look at that there we go so that's two of the packets of the simply better round steak mince okay good drizzle of the rapeseed oil so i'm using this here Derry carmet from county loud so these are one of the first producers that i got to visit on the road with the simply better team absolutely love these guys they're uh, fantastic producers of rapeseed oil. They grow all their own rapeseed oil. They cold press it and it's in the bottle. And it's just a really good oil. Good high smoke, smoke temperature, which is really important. And it's very healthy oil and it's Irish. So it ticks all the boxes. Okay, we are going to do our vegetables. So I'm gonna put in some carrot, celery, I have one onion diced, a couple of cloves of garlic. I already have some extra done here. So I'm gonna show you this. So we're gonna dice this, peel the carrot. And then if you cut it into nice big chunks like that so this is what i've done here so i'm just going to put this into the pan and then i'll chop the rest just to get it cooking so same pan you cooked your mince in nice sizzle there perfect really nice hot oil don't be cutting these too small because when you think of it you're going to cook this uh, for nearly two two and a half nearly three hours until it's literally melting them out so scoop it up using the knife okay make sure the pan is up nice and hot it's exactly what i want celery i do love celery and i love it in a soup and sometimes it's one of these vegetables that we don't use enough i think it adds great flavor so we're going to dice this and this is going in here and then one onion i'm not going to show you how to dice the onion but i will crush the garlic in a minute so that's one onion which is just diced and that's all going to go in there now we're going to let that just sweat off for a few minutes into that we'll add in some garlic I love garlic so i'm using four cloves they're not very big cloves of garlic you can use two or three whichever you prefer and this is going to go into the actual pan so this is all done in 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 stages chop all your vegetables brown off your your meat which is really important and then everything goes back into the pot it's as simple as that and this is a great pan it's it's my skillet pan so it is so I'm just going to put the four cloves of garlic in there so what I've done I've just diced some rashers so these are the rashers here the streaky rashers I love streaky rashers again with the board be a quality mark and I've just literally diced them into small little dices and that's going to go into the pan so that's about four maybe five rashers I really like the flavor of them now so we're just going to give this a nice little mix here okay so that's going to sweat off for a minute or two I'm going to put in my herbs, but I'm going to talk about the pasta because I want to get the pasta on cooking. So you can use any kind of dried pasta, but this is a really nice, it's part of the Simply Better. It's a fresh egg, particularly I mean, these names, they always get me so they do. So it's a lovely kind of a chewed pasta, but if you look very closely at the texture, so that's going to catch this lovely sauce. And I made this last week for the twins and I and myself for dinner, and it was just delicious. It was cooked really, really quickly. We're going to put salt into the water. So a nice big saucepan of it, water. I'm going to put in all of the pasta so this is made from Puglia so Puglia must be one of the hot spots it's a place that I haven't been in Italy but I absolutely admire their food and their produce and one thing they really produce really really well in Puglia is fresh pasta but also these beautiful tomatoes 
So these are the San Marzano tomatoes that we're going to put in to our uh, beef ragu. So these are the chopped ones. This one here is the sieved uh, pizzata, pizzata, okay, it's just sieved tomatoes. So this is, this is what I'm going to use for this recipe. And um, if you want to, you can use this. This is a really, really clean, I love that word, tomato sauce. So there's no added sugar in it. Uh, I'll just re read out the ingredients. Italian tomatoes, tomato paste, extra virgin olive oil, and then we have basil and sea salt. So it's a very, very natural. And you can see the little lumps of onion and basil in that. So you can certainly use this. And this is great. I always have some of this uh, at home. And, uh, and really, the key into the tomato sauce is the Italian tomatoes, the sun they get is just incredible. Okay, I'm gonna use fresh thyme, it's one of my favorite herbs. I have a little bit of rosemary, so the rosemary is optional, but I'm gonna use both, and I'm gonna chop it really, really uh, fine. Now, I'm getting a little bit of color, not, not, not too much, you don't need to brown it, but you're getting all that lovely flavor that you've sealed off the beef there. So keep it on a nice high heat. Then every so often, if you stir your pasta, it doesn't take long to cook this, you can serve this with spaghetti or whatever you want. And actually this uh, ragu that we're going to make, um, we're going to make a nice uh, lasagna, not today, but another video, using the exact same uh, recipe. So I'll show you all the layer and process of this. Now, so I'm gonna show you how to chop the herbs. So these are kind of coarse, quite uh, firm herbs. So curve your fingers. Okay, watch your fingers when you're doing this. You don't want to nick yourself or cut yourself and it doesn't mean you know as chefs we take our just lose our concentration for a second it doesn't mean we don't burn or cut ourselves but just be very careful doing this so see the way i'm rocking the knife over and back so this is on my bamboo chopping board and then underneath that we have a little non-slip mat this is definitely worth getting because it stops the board from moving so just as you're chopping you're rocking it over and back so nice skills are really, really important, but good knives, good pots, pans, and good ingredients. That's what good cooking is all about. Starting off with the really good quality ingredients. And we're very lucky we have, in my opinion, some of the best beef in the world in Ireland because of the grass. So I'm gonna put this in here. So that's my thyme and rosemary, which we're just gonna slide in using the knife. And then we're just going to give this a little stir. Mm smell of that is fantastic now you can if you want to. I'm not gonna do it you can put in a glass of uh, red or white wine if you want to but for this recipe I'm not doing it but but you can certainly do it uh, we will put in bay leaf and this is some some uh, dried bay leaf I'm gonna put back in the mince and this is really important we've browned off the mince okay so this is all going back in here scrape that all out and then we need to stir this through so my pasta's on cooking in the salted water. I'll just turn my pan here. I'm a big believer. If I do something like this, I do it in bulk. I'll get maybe two or three, maybe four packs of the mints, cook it in bulk, put some into the freezer, and that's what you call batch cooking. That makes a lot of sense for me. So if we just give this a little stir here, you're bringing this all together. And then we're just going to put in the passata. Okay, and that's just the sieved tomatoes into this. And then you can put in stock or water, I'm not. I'm just gonna let this just simmer away, bubble away. And honestly, it's gonna take two, two and a half hours. I have already one cooked, I'm not gonna keep it that long. So these, this is the passato, okay? So these are the San Marzano tomatoes, which are reckoned to be one of the best uh, flavorsome tomatoes that you can use. So worth having this in your cupboard. So just literally pour this all over. And then with a little bit of water, we're not gonna waste anything. Okay, so just put the lid back on. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna just give it a shake and you're going to use as much as possible from this. Now, okay, so the pasta, let's have a little look at this. That's boiling up nicely. I just put a tiny little bit of salt into the water and you can see the texture there. So you cook it until it's al dente. It takes about maybe five, six minutes. It doesn't take that long. Okay, in goes our bay leaves, two little bay leaves. And then you just literally stir this around here. So you just combine everything together. So just to recap, we have onion, garlic, crushed garlic. We have celery and we have carrots. And then we have two packets in there of the Simply Better round uh, beef mints. Um, which is a really, really nice cut. And it's 10% fat, so it's not too fatty, but you do need a tiny little bit uh, of fat in that for flavor. Now, and the passata in there, and then what you do is you bring this to the boil, 
and you let this simmer so don't let it boil too much let it come to the boil and then let it really really slowly simmer stir it every 20 25 minutes and then from this to this here behind i'll just move this out of the way okay this is one we made earlier it's not often i say that <laughs> is it but this is it here so we're going to remove the bay leaves look at it does reduce don't worry about that and it will slightly thicken up and if you feel that it needs a little bit more tomato or a little bit of stock you can always add that but it is melting them out so we're going to put in some salt and then we're going to put in some black pepper and then what we're going to do is we're going to put in some lovely beans i want to show you this so black pepper in there and then i like to finish it with a uh, fresh basil so this is a can already cooked of the cannellini beans so i've just rinsed them so i'll just show you there Amelda. okay so they're just rinsed through a sieve uh, they add texture you can use haricot you can use butter beans and you know the twins really like these so it's a full can of the beans in there they're great for roughage so they are so give this a nice little stir through and then i'm going to get some basil into this so you can see the way it kind of changes the color fresh basil i always use at the last minute so when you think of it like i'm using you know four herbs here so if i was to pick one definitely thyme definitely basil bay leaf yes if you have it rosemary lovely if you have it i mean these are all growing in our garden here so i'm just going to get some fresh basil and i'm going to chop this and then finish it off and then we're ready to serve we need to strain our pasta so i'll just do that now quickly because i want to stir that into um the sauce so just recap that will cook the one there behind i've cooked this for over two and a half hours nearly three hours honestly until it was um until it was just really melting them out i'm going to strain my pasta so i'm using the tube of pasta here and i'm just going to let that just sit for a moment on the saucepan so you can see that there so see the way it kind of plumps up a little bit so that should be cooked until it's what we call al dente and then we're just going to finish it with some lovely fresh basil a bit of parmesan and that's it it's ready to go so it's a really really lovely food this ragu without the beans will be the exact same ragu that i'll be that i'll be using i won't be showing you the makeup for the lasagna and for the lasagna i'll just show you this here just before i chop the herbs i'll be using the bronze dye lasagna sheets so this is made with free range italian egg so it is so i'll be doing that for another recipe not today but just to show you just this recipe is very very versatile that's exactly what i'm saying so chop it really nice and fine okay and then this goes straight in if i leave it on the board for even 10 minutes it will simply go uh, black and get a little bit discolored so this goes in here stir this through and you can see that lovely freshness there so all you're doing is warming up the beans. Don't put the beans in too early or else what'll happen, they'll just break up and go mushy. In goes our pasta. It's warm. If you wanted to do this ahead, you could um, warm up the ragu, pre-cook your pasta, refresh it in cold water. And then we're just gonna serve this up now. So just stir this through here. Just combine it all together. If I use this here, this will help me here. Perfect. So you're just mixing it all together. Beautiful. Mm. smell of this switch it off here we go so we have that lovely fresh pasta and the beef ragu lots of this here so the key is to cook it really lovely nice and low and slow that is the secret into this recipe and then just to finish it a little bit of some this is a 30 month old a minimum matured 30 month old parmesan and there we have it. That is my beef ragu with cannellini beans. Uh, you can finish it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of black pepper if you want. I do like black pepper with pasta. And there we have it, I better clean my plate. So there we go, enjoy this recipe. Try the ragu, serve with any pasta, um, full of flavor, good quality Irish beef, lots of vegetables, herbs, and really good tomatoes. And enjoy this and happy cooking. And thank you very much, everyone.